videos that I'm making and man it's so weird to talk to a camera so hi um, today um, at this point when you're seeing this well actually because it's my first time let me say this I'm a learner so hi welcome to the channel um, welcome to this video and um, if you're here already please like subscribe share um this is i'm sure by this time i would have done a video to address that so welcome so this is um a vlog i'm making um because at this point i've been in port harcourt for almost two weeks um i have to train i, I came to train the team what am i saying i came to train the team here i wanted them to be better so i've been here for about almost two weeks um just a little on that two weeks actually so but i have to go to abuja for um a concert that i've been invited to i'm sure by the time this goes up would have been to the concert you guys will know the concert that i'm talking about so we have to um we were invited to a concert and there's someone almost at the door oh, give me a moment so Sorry, I'm back. So um, I'm going to Abuja for this concert and I'm just spending two days in Abuja and I'll do my utmost best to document this. So um, I leave today at the one and then I'm back. Today's Thursday, by the way, Thursday the 15th of Thursday and it's my friend's birthday and I'm so excited for her. And she had two of my friend's birthdays is it birthday is a birthday i don't know it's their birthday and i'm really excited for them but i have to go to abuja um and i'll be back on saturday today's thursday the 15th and i'll be back on saturday the 17th um it's a short trip it's very fast actually i actually really enjoy doing my work it's it's amazing the fact that you get to bless so the fact that you get to pour your heart um before god and you get people to join you in doing that like it's really really amazing it's a gift and it's a blessing one that i don't take for granted so go today's and i'll be back and it's just it's just really exciting so i'll try i'll try i'm not the vlogger it's so weird i'll try to um, document this because in the end this channel is a diary of a christian music minister it's a journal it's a document it's a, doc, it's a document i'm documenting the life of a christian um a christian music minister i'm, I'm being distracted all right guys i'll do my best Best, my most best to document this i'll try not to miss out on anything i'll try to document the journey to the airport the airport and back i'll try to document rehearsal and maybe the main event itself so let's see how that goes and everything in between that will happen bye see you guys later i love you i've been talking for so long so right now i'm just waiting for my ride to get here so i can leave for the airport i really don't want to be late um i'll tell you guys about um my story with the airports in but Harcourt is in a moment. Okay guys, so um on my way to the airport. But I said I was going to tell a story. The first time I traveled out of Port Harcourt. In short, the first time I came in and I was leaving. Got to the airport, got to the airport early enough. And my flight was delayed for eight and a half hours. So every time I travel through Port Harcourt, I just I'm just praying that I don't get delayed. I don't get delayed at all, so pray for me, pray for me. I'm on my way. Uh, I'll see you guys soon.
Hi guys, so I'm here at the airport. I thought I was going to tell you guys a story about this airport. So um, I'm here, let me just show you first. And don't forget, like, I'm not used to this um, vlogging thing. So just take me as you see me, I'm just documenting. Trying to show you guys what the life of a music, a Christian music minister is like. So basically, this is it. So. I said I was going to tell you guys about the story about this airport, so I'm always scared. So I'd come into um, Port Harcourt in August um, last year. So I was living at stayed for three months and I was living in November. I was excited that day. I will insert pictures here for you guys to see. I was so excited if I still have the videos from before I left the house, I'll share it with you guys. So I was so excited to go home after three months. So my flight was around like 12. It was around 12 and I got to the airport that was checked in and then the first issue happened where let me stay with this so the first issue was the fact that um, um, immediately I checked in I got like a um, a message immediately I was flying with, with Tana then so I got a message and they were like uh, my flight had been rescheduled and I was like oh wow why now why are you guys telling me now like I'm supposed to be taking off now and you're telling me now that my flight has been rescheduled okay no problem it had been rescheduled for was it two no was it was scheduled for five hours initially so I, I, my flight was supposed to be for 12 and then I'm not even sure that that's working someone has tr tried to use it yes it's not working so um Sorry, excuse me, guys. So, um, um, okay, why is this even here? I'm supposed to be wearing my mask in the airport and it's under my chin. So, okay, like I was saying, Jerry, so, um, my flight was delayed for five, about five and a half hours or five hours, I'm not even sure now. So, around that time, it was five hours or five and a half and a half hours and I was like oh my god five okay, and a half hours announcement Mark said flight CN 1646 from Lagos is now on ground announcing the arrival of Mark Air flight VN 1646 from Lagos thank you all right we can continue now so um I was I just told myself I just I told myself I'll find a way to um to stay um, um um to keep busy at the airport so i stayed at this particular lounge, lounge that i'm at i didn't i didn't go through security so i just stayed here because i wanted to have the freedom to move around once you go going through security you can't come back out and then food gets even more expensive and th there isn't really there aren't really any uh, more options there are just basic options it's like i i need i need to know that I have options, I have to be able to move around. And then I didn't even know that they had given them, they had announced to the people they'd even give them coke and biscuits. I mean, I didn't know I was here. Then at 5 30, I went to meet, I didn't hear anything about my flight. So I went to meet um, the people at the check in counter. And they were like, oh, it's been delayed. I was like, but you guys didn't even see anything. Obviously, they had said something to people that had gone through security, but I didn't know because I was I had not gone through, gone through security. So I just sat down there, I watched I watched Netflix for a bit. I did I video called with a friend Samia. We talked, I watched Netflix, but I was just keeping mind and soul together. Guess what? I didn't leave this place until almost 9 p.m. And the issue was that I'd been away from my house for three months and I live here, I live here so uh, nobody there was nobody to um, clean the house or anything. So I was coming back to a dusty house that night. I got home around almost 11 or so, around 11, so, and at that time I had to start cleaning the house, mopping the house because I couldn't stay in dust. So I had to sleep with a mask on because I knew I was going to react badly because I react badly to smoke and dust. So man, every time I come to this airport, I'm just praying, I'm like, God, please let them not leave my flight. I'm not going to tell you guys, because I just mentioned the airline, I'm not going to tell you guys why the flight was delayed in the first place. So. But thank God, thank God for, thank God for everything. That's all I can say. 
So basically, yeah, that was it. I'm just hoping that this one is not delayed, that I get to Lagos. My flight is for five minutes to one, so basically 1 p.m. Hopefully I'm in Abuja by 2 p.m. because I have rehearsals by 4 this evening. So hopefully all things being equal, I'm just going to cross my fingers and hope for the best. See you guys soon. Maybe before I take off and maybe in the air. Bye guys. Uh, so it's time to bud. We're a bit late but better than last time. About 30 minutes late but not so bad. Not so bad. I, I'll take 30 minutes and it has plus. It has an half. Alright, see you guys later.
Hi guys, good morning. So I've been awake for about almost two hours now. And yesterday was a blow. I said I was going to carry you guys along, but yesterday was a blow. Why, why is this name like this? Yesterday was an absolute blow. That's that's all I can say about it. So let me just give you guys the wrong rundown. I my flight was delayed a bit. Um I, I, I took some clips on the plane, so I have those to share. Nothing nothing deep, nothing serious, too serious. But yesterday was an absolute blow. So I got to Amapuja. Um, it took a while to get my bag. Got my bag, got into the bow tried. Um, by the time I was getting home, it was already past four. And I was supposed to rehearse. I'm looking for a good angle. <laughs> So I got to um I got home, I got to my place so that I could drop off my things at probably past four, like a few minutes past four. I think maybe five to ten minutes past four. And I had to be at rehearsal by four. So I had to I left immediately, just dropped my stuff, took the things that were necessary for me to take with me. I will let my keys, lip balm, water left for rehearsal, got to rehearsal. I didn't leave rehearsal until, I, I believe, past eight or so. So, and there was the struggle to get the uniform that I actually needed, what we're wearing today. I just needed, which turned out to be a waste because it didn't fit. And I've wasted money. I'm so angry. I feel, I'm not angry. I'm just, it's just so annoying, actually. Very, very annoying. So, um, got home tried to arrange some stuff because I was just coming in and I had not been in the house for two weeks. I had to start sweeping, I had to change the bed sheet. Um, and it was a lot. It was honestly a lot. So that was basically what happened last night. Then finally went to bed. I was on my phone when I was dozing off. So um, that was yesterday. It was, it was a blur. It really was a blur. So sorry I keep blocking the lens. So that was it. I've been awake for almost two hours now and I'm about to take a shower so that I can head out to church. Head out to church to get um to grant access for someone. I'll be there while something is being taken, then I'll come back home and see if I can get some rest. My voice is husky because I've been exposed to dust. I'm sure you can hear it. I've been exposed to dust. I'm not supposed to be exposed to dust, so hey. We'll figure it out. The Lord is our strength and our muscle. So I'm about to be out of the house by 4 p.m. today. So everything that I'll do has to be done before 4 p.m. So I'll take a shower. Excuse me. Excuse me, I'll take a shower. Be out of the house. Do what I have to do then. This, this vlogger lifestyle. Oh. This, this, this vlogger lifestyle. People should give props to people that will this thing. <laughs> this is so weird speaking to my camera. And people say this thing, it, okay, it wasn't really weird to me because it was something that happened before, but away from that, Jerry. So, get back home, try and get food to eat, in my, with food in my system, pray, um, eat, pray. Try to get some sleep. I really need some sleep. I think it will help my voice. Um, drink lots of fluids. Then I should be out of the house by 4 p.m. So that I can be there on time. So basically, that's it. That's all. See you guys when... I'll try and document as much as I can. But see you guys on the other side. I was supposed to take clips from the rehearsal. If I have clips from the rehearsal, I'll share with you guys. Maybe they may be shot though.
but I'll try to take clips from the events I can post. So that's that. Good morning. I'm not even sure you're going to be watching this in the morning, but oh it's later. Later, later. Hi guys. So I'm back really early. So someone else is going there to monitor the situation. So I, I can at least stay home. I'm not even sure you guys can hear me. Hi guys, I'm back here. <laughs> I didn't go out anymore. I didn't go to church anymore. Someone else is doing that for me. Um, someone else is available to do it. I'm just very glad and very grateful that I can at least stay at home and rest. Maybe get some more sleep. That will help my voice. Get some sleep and... I'm just glad. I'm just grateful, honestly. So that's where we are right now. So updates. See you guys later.
been awake for, by the way, today is Saturday, the 17th of August. I've been awake for, um, oh my God. I've been awake for, I've been awake since past 8 or 8.30. Mm, and it's, I think so, I've been awake for about two hours. Um, yesterday was amazing. I went to share clips. I got back really late, so I couldn't even do any video when I got back. And I slept really late, too. So, I'm going to share clips. I'm going to share videos. I'm going back to Port Harcourt today. Why are my hands shaking so much? So, I'm going back to Port Harcourt today. Um... I'll carry you guys along. I'll, I'll do my best if I'm not sleeping during the flight. I'm very, very tired. I just finished putting everything back into my suitcase to go back to Port Harcourt. My flight is for 2.40. Hopefully, there are no delays because it's a Saturday and, I, I, and it's Port Harcourt. I don't like getting into Port Harcourt late. So, see you guys then. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Whatever day it is that you guys are watching this on. Um, I hope you're having an amazing day. I don't know what this is, but <laughs> hope you guys have an amazing day. Um, you can share that in the comment section. It's like, yeah, section. I have this issue with section and session because musically, when I speak about um, timing, I call, we call it session. So because I talk about sessions a lot more when I go to the studio, they just took the light. When I go to the studio, we have sessions. So you have, um, when you're recording, you have sessions. When you're rehearsing, you have sessions. So every time I, I have to say section, I'm checking, I'm checking to, to see whether I'm not even making a mistake calling it section. But please comment in the, um, leave a comment in the comment section. Uh, I'll, I'll make sure to reply, to read through all of them and reply. Bye. And also cross check your seat number on your boarding pass with the cabin crew before taking your allocation seat. Once again. So I just got in. I just got back home. See, I, I'm, I'm wondering if all of this is still up. Although, although it is a diary into the life of a Christian music um, 
Christian music minister. I'm wondering if all of these details are really, really like relevant. The fact that I keep checking in. You guys can let me know though. So I'm home. I just got in literally. I've not washed my hands. So um Saturday evening. Hopefully tomorrow I can go to church. I feel very tired. Um there was a lot of stress on my body last night and I was having um palpitations, heart palpitations. So I'm hoping I can go to church tomorrow. Let me see how well my body takes rest and reacts to rest. Hopefully I can. If not, I'll just rest tomorrow. But that's that. <sighs> see you guys later. So that's my trip. Um, basically, um, my trip from, uh, my two-day trip, but I cut to Abuja two days. And I'm back. I'm back. So, um, talk later. This is probably the end of this vlog. Um, if it if it goes on, I probably will not add the part where I said this is the end of this vlog. Um, please like, share, subscribe. This means a lot to me. Um, this is one of the hardest things for me to do my with my life and with my time because it's hard for me to um it's usually hard for me to document things like this but i'm learning because it's an instruction that i have received um there's a reason sha by the way I, I probably would have shared a video about it or if not i'll find time to do a video about it but that's that about that enjoy don't forget like share subscribe like share subscribe boo. Like, share, sub, okay. Bye, guys.